गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू इन माय सेकंड ई लर्निंग क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज टर्म एंड प्री टर्म डिफ्रेंशिएशन एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ न्यू वन इन लास्ट क्लास एंड इन दैट वी हैव लेफ्ट आउट वन मेन पॉइंट दैट वॉज जस्टिशनल एज असेसमेंट जस्टिशनल एज असेसमेंट इज यूजली डन in two main parts one is uh, the term and preterm differentiation and another one is precise gestational age assessment mainly of preterm so that we can uh, decide about the particular management protocol to be followed uh, in precise gestational age assessment we usually follow some scores most uh, common gestational age uh, score is new wellard score and uh, in that we discuss about physical as well as neurological characteristics and uh, we score them and the score will tell us the precise gestational age but that particular uh, topic we will uh, take in next class today we only will discuss that uh, how to differentiate between term and preterm so that Uh, a healthy term baby can be um, sent to the ward alongside mother and if uh, the baby is preterm we can decide that uh, we should take uh, him to nursery or uh, further we have to precisely estimate the gestational age of preterm so uh, today we will discuss term and preterm differentiation as you all know uh, the definition of term preterm as well as post term the term newborn is the uh, baby born between 37 to 41 weeks of gestation while preterm newborn is the baby born uh, before 37 weeks of gestation whenever we discuss about gestational age we always speak in the weeks and uh, when we say 37 weeks then it always consider that it should be uh, 36 weeks 7 days 36 weeks 6 days will be considered as 36 weeks and 37 uh, 41 uh, weeks 6 days will be considered only as 41 weeks and post term will be after 42 weeks complete 42 weeks okay then uh, main uh, differentiation is some physical characteristic but before discussing these physical uh, characteristic uh, we also have some anthropometric differences between term and preterm however these anthropometric uh, differences are not absolute the term new born who are small for date who are malnourished or who are hypoplastic uh, may have less measures of uh, anthropometry and that's why they are not considered as diagnostic but uh, we should know about the normal term baby's anthropometric measurement as well as preterm uh, baby's anthropometric measurements term baby usually the crown heel length is 47 to 50 cm while in preterm newborn babies the length is less than 47 cm head circumference ranges between 34 to 36 cm in a term baby while in preterm baby it is always less than 33 cm and uh, chest circumference in term babies it is around uh, 3 cm less than head circumference while this difference of head circumference and uh, chest circumference is more than 3 cm in a preterm baby that means the chest circumference of preterm baby is always more than 3 cm lesser than head circumference however they are uh, not absolute uh, uh, for differentiation between term and preterm but they may be considered for differentiation the main absolute findings on the basis of which we can group uh, newborn baby into term or preterm class are basic five physical characteristics and we will discuss them one by one these are sole creases right from the foot we will uh, ascend towards head and uh, in foot in the sole creases then genitals that is external genitalia 
then breast nodule, ear cartilage and last one is scalp hair. These five characteristics are very basic to differentiate between term and preterm. We will now discuss one by one. First of all, sole creases. Uh, basically, sole creases uh, develop during the late gestational period. In preterms, either there will be no uh, deep sole creases. Preterms usually have multiple superficial creases, but deep sole creases in uh, in a preterm of less than 32 or 30 weeks is absent. While after that, there may be a deep uh, crease but it will be single and it will be confined to only anterior one third part of the sole. There will be no deep creases in the posterior two third part of the sole. While in term baby multiple deep sole creases are all over the sole in anterior as well as posterior part as first picture in uh, shows a uh, single deep crease in a preterm while in second picture on the right, uh, right side we can see multiple deep creases and as well we can see the color of the foot first one is pale while second one is pink one then second uh, important uh, characteristic physical characteristic between different uh, differentiation between term and preterm is uh, external genitalia first we will discuss that of male in males usually uh, the term baby have fully developed scrotum with with so many rugosities you can see the picture on the right is of term there are so many rugosities there is darkening of the scrotal uh, skin and uh, scrotum uh, have a good uh, developed raphe and rugosities of the scrotum are well developed and testis when we palpate the scrotum we can find at least one testis in the scrotum in a term baby while uh, preterms usually scrotum is ill developed it uh, it is small it have less rugosities or there may be no rugosities on the left you can see that uh, there are absence of rugosities in the scrotum and the skin of the scrotum is also lighter in color in preterms and uh, the testes are absent from the scrotum they may be uh, at external ring or above that the main finding in external male genitalia is scrotal uh, rugosities and content content that is testis testis is absent in preterms in scrotal sac in females external genitalia uh, in preterms there is a widely separated labia majora you can see the first picture where preterm is written the labia majora is widely separated and uh, labia minora is uh, is visualized easily visualized and uh, there is a hypertrophy of clitoris as well while uh, on the right side we can see that labia majora usually uh, completely covers the uh, labia minora in term baby and the clitoris is small in size as we all know that uh, um, the genitals develop from um, two basic ducts mullerian ducts and wolfian ducts mullerian ducts forms female genitalia and uh, uh, initially if we see the external genitalia in embryo or um, early fetus uh, say 15-16 weeks there will be difficult to differentiate between male and female because this uh, this labia majora if which uh, it joins it it will look like scrotal sac and the clitoris which is on the uh, vertical part of the labia majora uh, it looks like penis and the external genitalia of male and female fetuses early fetuses is almost similar that's why in preterms there is uh, the clitoris hypertrophy so basic finding uh, of external genitalia we can uh, remember that in preterms labia majora 
widely separated in term labia majora covers labia minora and clitoris in preterms is hypertrophied while in term it is small not hypertrophied next uh, physical finding is breast nodule breast what is the breast nodule breast nodule is the nodule found below the ear uvula of the breast and uh, in preterms either this breast nodule is absent or their uh, its size may be less than 5 cm 5 sorry 5 mm and uh, in preterms nipple and areola may be ill developed may be small or may be absent while in term babies which we can see on right side the breast nodule is uh, more than 5 uh, mm in uh, size and uh, uh, areola and nipple is well developed however however in uh, small for date term babies this finding may mislead uh, that's why we should consider all these five findings as a whole not individual that uh, we only see breast nodule and breast nodule is small than 5 mm and we consider it is preterm that is not the case we should consider all the five find, uh, five finding uh, in total or in uh, whole uh, for deciding term and preterm because breast nodule in small for date babies in malnourished babies who are born at full term may be absent or may be less than 5 mm of diameter so this is uh, breast nodule then next uh, uh, main physical characteristic is ear cartilage we are uh, ascending from foot then the antelia then breast then ear ear cartilage dwell with the uh, approaching uh, term and in preterms it is deficient the, the pinna we can palpate that uh, it will have less ear cartilage and ear cartilage usually give the shape to the pinna that's why the pinna will not be bell formed as we can see on the extreme left there is a preterm pinna on extreme right there is a term pinna and uh, by looking um, on these both pictures we can uh, we can see that uh, on the right it is well formed pinna because cartilage is fully developed in terms while in preterms it is uh, absent at places and second thing in ear cartilage uh, we we uh, see pinna recoil we press the uh, pinna and ant uh, anteriorly and see how fast the recoil is the middle picture is showing how we assess the pinna recoil and pinna recoil when there is deficient cartilage will be very poor very slow like in preterms preterms pinna will not recoil while in uh, term babies where cartilage have developed pinna will uh, recoil fast then the last uh, feature physical finding uh, between uh, differentiation between term and preterm is uh, the scalp hair and uh, scalp hair usually in term babies they are having uh, well grown thick hairs with uh, uh, dark uh, jet black hairs and these hairs are silky and usually uh, from a distance we can't uh, separate or we can't uh, differentiate between individual hair fiber uh, visually while in preterms the hair are sparse they are thin and uh, their color is also somewhat brownish black they are fuzzy and bully and individual fiber uh, can be easily identifiable visually from a distance like in this picture we can uh, see that uh, here in preterms are sparse they are uh, not jet black and individual fiber we can differentiate and hairs are also very thin so uh, these were five findings physical findings on the basis of which we can uh, differentiate between term and preterm but these findings should not be uh, considered individually they should be considered in total in uh, 
uh, group if all the uh, all the features are of per term then it is a term baby and if uh, two three four features are of pre term then it can be of pre term baby so this was all about uh, term and pre term differentiation by the physical findings other physical findings are also there but they are not considered uh, as uh, diagnostic they are usually scored uh, when we will discuss the scoring uh, method for uh, precise gestational age assessment we will discuss them but uh, other physical finding usually taken um, consideration are uh, skin that uh, preterm have thin skin the skin is gelatinous and uh, in term babies the skin is thick and smooth while uh, other finding uh, physical finding which which may be given consideration is lenigo lenigo is also scored in new velar scoring and uh, lenigo usually appear after 26 27 weeks and it uh, increases with uh, with gestational maturity but after 34 weeks it it starts reducing so um, that can also be considered as physical finding for differentiation between term and preterm however these five clinical findings are basic to differentiate between term and preterm uh in next class we will uh, take on the gestational age uh, assessment precise gestational age assessment uh, here in this uh, ppt i have not put my mobile number but uh, i have not uh, received your queries uh iska do matlab ho sakte hain either uh, uh, you understood everything or uh, second maybe that you have not opened the file and not um, read the you have not read the uh, that particular lecture so uh, give me your feedbacks your queries on my uh, whatsapp number which i have shared in last ppt and uh, that whatsapp number is 9718439 69 0 thank you